Hello everyone, my name is Hal, this is Quail Studios Guitar. We're going to look into Alipata's Bohemian Rhapsody today. And he's got a capo on the first fret, so I'm going to go ahead and put a capo on my first fret and tune up my guitar just to make sure that we are in tune. Here we are. All right, let's start, let's see what he does. Oh, what chord has he got there? Hmm. That's a good one. Okay, this chord is, um, starts here, fourth fret. We're talking about fourth fret up from the capo. Fourth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the E string, fifth fret on the B string, sixth fret on the G string. Is this the real life? So he actually hits one extra. Right? Instead of doing six, he does seven. it differently than that but that's basically the notes oh okay that looks like a looks like a C7 chord on the seventh fret um, let's see what do you do That's an E chord, looks like a D shape. Okay. Another slide there. Mm, okay. Goes by pretty fast, so I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. F sharp minor. And then it goes to oh, okay, A chord. Ooh, ooh, big stretch. Why does he do it that way? Why doesn't he do it this way? It's a little easier, you know, you can reach it. Okay. What is that? It's a... Uh... Well, that's just a B minor chord. Yep. Hmm, another one of those chords. But you could use an E chord there. Okay, I'd like. Why didn't you do it this way? Okay. And then he does some octaves. I don't know if I really like that as much as I like that. Just do it twice. Okay, that, that's an interesting thing that he did there. Um, it 
it's a uh, A with a C sharp bass. And we got a, uh, a diminished chord. You didn't play it this way though. He played it farther down. And then he played. Right there. Oh, that's his signature, right? Harmonics. And he does a little. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Um, I guess you could play it this way too. If you don't do the harmonics, you could do it open. Open like that. Okay. I like the fact that he's doing those melodies and um, like dum, dum, da, da. but he does it in, in harmonics dum, time has come what is it uh, I gotta find him here you know I, have, I haven't practiced this do it without harmonics That's a B minor chord before. No. And then he does it down here. He's, he's har harmonics all over the place, isn't he? We can play along with him. that part. Well, let's go on and see if we can play along with uh, a leap. A different thing now. Um, he's going into another section, which I really, I really like it. <laughs> mm, I love this part. I love that bass line. Ooh. Yes, bass line is wonderful. part that's a trio or something. 
to the Fandango. Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. I don't know the notes. Nobody loves me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I like that part. Just me love, just to let you go. Just me love. Isn't that a little bit different than the regular one? You know, than the Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Isn't it just a little different? I love those chords right there. Those are fun. Let me go. Me. Oh, and the guy sings really high. I love this part. In the real um, song where the electric guitar. What I love is. Uh, percussion. It's great. Right out of Without singing it, nothing really matters to me. Nice part right here. What's gonna happen at the end? What's he gonna do? I knew he was gonna do that. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Uh, that's a that's a really good rendition. I really like it. It's fun to listen to. It's fun to play with. Would you like to be able to play along with that? Um, you know, that's one thing that you could do if you wanted to. Let's see here. Let me show you what I mean. So if we went to from the beginning, start this up again. Let's say we started. Now I wrote down um, some ideas right here on a piece of paper. This is says Bohemian Rhapsody. This, these are my notes. I wrote some of the things that he wrote, but also what I did was that <clears throat> I wrote down um, some alternate things. Uh, a couple of things that are a little bit easier to play. So if you want to pick this up, look in the description and it's free for anybody who wants to pick it up. You can click on the link, uh, print it out, just look at it online if you like, but it's yours. And also right here, the verse starts right there and you can play along with the verse. So let's say we fast forward to the verse here. This is written out too. Oops.
Yeah, yeah even that part is written out for you, so it goes... Um... All right. And then you go back to the repeat. And it goes. Mama, life has just begun. And now I don't know the way Mama ooh. Let's see, did I do the wrong thing? Mama Let's see Mama See, where's it go? Um, I think that's a D chord. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Hey, thanks for coming along. I, I appreciate being able to talk to you and to share my thoughts. Go pick up this in the description, click on it, check it out. If you like it, um, I can put some chords on it and do a, a bigger version, put it in my book. My book is available at Patreon, at Subscribestar, and also in the link below in the description. There's a PayPal link. You can pay whatever you want for the book. Uh, you know, just make a donation and I'll send it to you and put you on my email list. All right, we'll talk to you later. Oh, there's 50 songs in my book plus theory in the back. Actually, more than 50 now. Okay, plus this one, it's in there too. All right, talk to you later. Bye.